What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2013 E150, and I'm gonna use it to point out to you the location of some important fuses and relays for the operation of the blower motor, as well as the air conditioning. So we're gonna make our way under the hood, and on the driver's side, that's where you'll find the fuse box here. And there's two tabs on the front you just push back, and you may have to move these wires out of the way. Just push them to the side and the cover will rotate back. Now, as far as the air conditioning goes, the relay for that is gonna be this one right here. You can try tapping on it, um, or probably you'll have best luck swapping it with a known good relay. So um, all of these you can swap with. Uh, these two on the left, I believe, are for trailer lights, and I think this one is for the backup lights there. So none of these are really mission critical. Good candidates to swap with. If you swap the relays and your ACD kicks on, then you know probably the relay is the issue. Um, while you're here, you'll wanna check the fuse for the AC clutch as well. It's gonna be this 10 amp fuse. You can pull it out, see through it, it's translucent. That's a good one to check. Now, um, as far as the blower motor itself, I've got another video where I actually show you how to test the blower motor um, to see if it's working, and I'll link that in the description below. Um, if it's not even receiving power, then you'll wanna check out the relay and the fuse. The relay for the blower motor is gonna be this little solitary relay off to the side. And it will come out, you just gotta move it around while you pull back. Unfortunately, there are no similar relays on this one that you can swap with, so. But you can try tapping on it. Uh, the fuse for that blower motor is gonna be this 50 amp J case fuse right here. And this comes out pretty much the same way. So yeah, that's about it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, and one last thing, you know, as far as the AC goes, You'll want to check the fuse and the relay if your compressor's not kicking on. You should see the compressor way down there. If the front of the compressor is not engaging, then uh, that's when you'll want to check those. But prior to messing with the electronics, you'll want to put a pressure gauge on the low side port here to see if there's actually Freon in the system. The AC compressor will not be commanded on if the car detects that it's low on Freon. So yeah. Thanks for watching.